Let's start with the registration process. On the screen, you should see a number, which is a PIN code. When you receive Xscape from us, what you receive is a number or a PIN code, and it arrives in an email exactly what it looks like there, uh, and it specifies the service that will be activated with that particular number. Uh, this is just a sample for a three-day version of Xscape with Xweb and mail fetching and no blogging. Now, um, this particular voucher that I'm showing you here, which is a three-day voucher, a three-day demo of Xscape on their iPad is actually available to you for free. Now, the PC version of the software and the Macintosh version of the software have a method for the user to automatically register a demo without having to go through this process of using a specific PIN code. But the Android version and the iOS version require a registration with a PIN code. And we're going to use this PIN code to go through the registration process here in a minute. Now, on our web page, we have a registration link on the left-hand side that takes you to a form called Register Xscape. That's going to take you to a very simple form which is going to require the activation code. And so the first step in doing the activation is to actually enter the code into the form and then the user will enter his username and his password, uh, his contact email address, a preferred username lstest01, lstest02, and a password, one, two, three, four, five, six, for example. And then he hits the accept and submit. As soon as he does that, his account is created. So he's got an email account. That person's email address is listed right here. His username is listed under it and his password is listed under it. And he will receive an email to his contact email address and also to his Xgate email address with a summary of this information. Once that is done, the account is active and ready to roll. So the user can actually install the software on any of the platforms now and start using it with this username and password. All right, so um, we're done with the web. So let's go ahead and pull up a Windows PC since Windows is uh, the preferred platform still. You can get Xgate either from a CD from us or you can download it from the web. And so going back to the web, if you're going to get it from our website, you can go to the downloads page and under the downloads page, you'll see a link for Xscape fast wireless email compression software. And uh, you'll find all the versions, the Mac version, the Windows version, and the Linux version of the software there. You would just download those for the particular platform that you're going to be using. Um, I've already done that to save some time. I've just downloaded this installer called Xscape setup which is basically the installer for Xscape. So I'm just gonna run through the installation process very quickly with you on a Windows machine, because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just run the installer. You use all the defaults. Uh, so I would just go ahead and just install with all the defaults. It only takes a second to do that. And then it's gonna ask you to reboot. When the machine comes up, it automatically runs Xscape for you and brings up what is known as a registration wizard. As soon as the user completes the installation and he reboots the machine, he's going to be presented with this screen. Now he's got several options here. If he has an activation code, which he hasn't registered, we've already registered ours, he can actually enter this form and um, go ahead and enter the activation code and register within the software. The software will automatically go through the registration process and assign him the username and the password and create the account for him. Uh, he doesn't have to go to the web. He can actually do this from his boat or remote location without having to use a web browser. Uh, this particular feature of doing the auto registration with the activation code from within the software only works for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Users with iOS devices or Android devices will have to enter a username and a password into the software. Additionally, the user can actually purchase the service directly with a credit card. He can request a three-day demo, or in this particular instance, since we already have a username and a password, we can go ahead and select username and password and go on to the next screen. Now, the next screen that comes up is the registration method that we're going to use to actually register the software. The default is to use the USB because until recently, most of our customers were using USB cables to connect their satellite devices to their computer. Connecting the USB to the computer is not the recommended method for using satellite phones anymore. The optimizer or the access point is a much better way of going. So we'll probably change the default here to optimizer before too long. But right now, 
the user needs to come down here and select his connectivity method. So if you're using an Iridium access point, you would select an Iridium access point. If you're selecting a optimizer, that's a web accelerator because an optimizer is a web accelerator. Uh, so you would basically select that. And then finally, you would select the kind of satellite phone that you're connecting to with the optimizer. So in this particular instance, I have an iSat phone hooked up to my system that I'm going to be using for demonstrations. And so I'm going to select WebXAC iSat phone. Now you'll notice that when you're using the optimizer, all of the optimizer devices are prefixed by the word WebXAC, which stands for Web Accelerator. The optimizer is a web accelerator. It's just the smallest member of a line of routers that we call web accelerators. And it has a special name called the optimizer, but it is a web accelerator. And all of the web accelerator interfaces are listed here. And so you'll see Iridium, which is going to be the Iridium Direct Internet. You'll see Iridium Open Port. You'll see the ISAT phone, Global Star, and some of the other phones as well. So in this particular instance, I'm going to select the ISAT phone. Since that is basically my interface method, I hit Next. I enter my username. And I hit OK. And I hit Finished. I am now done with the installation. So Xscape is ready to roll. So what I need to do now is I need to Wi-Fi connect to my device so that I can start using it. So at this point, what you would do is you would go to your Windows icon down here in the toolbar for your Wi-Fi to connect to your Wi-Fi. Uh, but just know that um, the optimizer shows up with an SSID WXA-102-some number. That number is the last four digits of the MAC address of the WXA. So if you've got a number of optimizers that are on your network, you can identify the optimizer by the last four digits of the MAC address. The MAC address is printed on the bottom label of the optimizer and it's also on the box of the optimizer. So to, so to connect to it, you would go to your Wi-Fi software, you would select that particular device, and then it's going to ask you for the password. Now, the password for the optimizer Wi-Fi hotspot is going to be the MAC address, which is listed on the bottom of the router or on the outside of the box. If you look at the optimizer box or if you look at the bottom of the router, you're going to see uh, something on it that says Wi-Fi key slash MAC. That's a 12-digit alphanumeric string, which uh, has 0 through 9 digits, A through F it's case sensitive, everything is uppercase, and you're gonna to have to type that into the uh, password or the secret key for the Wi-Fi in order to be able to connect to that. Once you do that, your Wi-Fi connected to the device and you're ready to roll. So once you do that, you can hit the start button and you'll establish a connection and you'll do an email. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit go. And um, there's a couple things that you will see. First you'll start to see things scrolling on the screen, which is Xscape telling you what it's doing. This is its very first connection to an optimizer. So it's telling you that it's actually connecting to an optimizer. My optimizer happens to be at this IP address because it's a network connected device. It's connected, it's logging into the optimizer. It's then checking to see if the firewall has been modified. This is the first time that it has been used Consequently, it's going to reprogram the firewall to disable anything other than Xgate and Xweb. So it's updating the firewall. And once it's done doing all of its firewall reprogramming, it actually establishes a connection to the iSat phone. We are dialing number 28, which is a call. Now the iSat phone is the slowest of all satellite phones. Um, it takes about a minute to actually get established to the network. Once it's on the network, it runs about 30% slower than Iridium. And so email is going to flow slowly, but it's going to flow um, reliably using the iSat phone. Uh, just to, as a description, this particular iSat phone that I have is in a beam docking station because I'm inside of a building and I have an external uh, active antenna. And uh, you should be impressed by the fact that I actually have a beam docking station hooked up to a Mac running on an iSat phone because that is not a supported platform. Beam does not have drivers for the Mac and you cannot use an iSat phone on a Beam docking station unless you use the optimizer because there is no other way without using an optimizer because there are no other drivers in the marketplace that support that. All right, so we've done with our connection. So what we did was we established a connection, we dialed, we got an okay back saying, hey, we're connected to the network. At that point, we checked to see if we have any email to send. 
check to see if any emails are received, and we hang up and we're done. So we did an entire session there where we actually established a connection to the network, checked with the server to see if we had any emails, checked to see if we had any emails to send, no, hung up, we're done, the phone is offline. So total link control through the whole process. So summing up, you got to register a username and a password, you run through the registration wizard after you install the software, enter the username and the password, you Wi-Fi connect to the optimizer, and you're done. You hit go. That is a very streamlined, very simple installation procedure. For those of you who've actually hooked up a satellite phone to a computer with a USB, you'll notice that this is a lot simpler to do.